guys, welcome to my home. I'm so excited that you're finally visiting. Come inside. You know, one of the biggest impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic is that we have all had to rethink our business models. For many of us, we've had to take our businesses and start operating from home. And that's really been true for me. And in doing that, I've come to the realization that perhaps one of the biggest things that I overlooked in my business was investing in IT. And so the COVID-19 pandemic has really opened up my eyes to have to, to really think strategically about how I invest in IT for my business. So you're probably asking yourself, yes, Nose, but what is your business exactly? So I'm going to uh, share a little bit about my work as a conversation strategist. Uh, a conversation strategist, of course, pre-COVID, probably living in between airports, moving from country to country to go service the needs of my clients. And now in this pandemic world, having to do all of that from home. So come with me as I share a little bit about my work and let you know how IT has allowed me to continue to add value to my clients wherever they may be. You know, one of the biggest jokes between my family is getting everyone to try and describe what I do as a conversation strategist. So I'm going to try again for them and for everyone else who's interested. I work with governments, international organizations, multinationals around the world, using the science and the art of conversation to simplify strategy. And so, for example, I would uh, partner with the International Labour Organization and have a conversation about how are we going to ensure that as we move to the future of work, that we are doing so in an inclusive way with young people in mind, with women in mind. And so this is really a global strategy that we're trying to break down into its component parts so that it makes sense in the national context, but it also makes sense at an individual level for me and you. I like to think about it like I am working and helping smart people have simple conversations that make the world a better place. And a huge part of my work is making sure that we're having conversations of consequence. I think we're all familiar with this idea of talk shops coming together for conferences after conferences and not actually making a difference in the world whatsoever. And so the design of the conversations that I moderate is really simply focused on moving the needle, shifting behavior, shifting uh, thinking patterns and mental models. And the outcomes of those conversations find themselves in policy papers, in documents, in textbooks, in our, on other platforms that then take the conversation forward. You know, the things that keep me up awake at night as a conversation strategist are probably similar to many small businesses reliability, security, consistency, agility. You can imagine that my clients trust me that I'm going to give and offer them a reliable service, a service where I'm not going to freeze in the middle of a conversation, where their global audience that they have curated and pulled together are going to be having a world-class experience that I'm going to be moderating. Security becomes of critical importance the nature of these conversations are pegged at a global level. There are high level contributions all the way up to heads of state, uh, to policymakers, to executives of multinational corporations. And so the security and the integrity of not only my connection, but of the entire platform and the system that I'm working on becomes of absolute importance. The agility when the conversation moves from one platform to the next and my ability to respond to that. These are the things that not only keep me up awake at night, but these are the things that I would look for in any IT partner. And so over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be sharing my journey with you how Access, which is a partner of Cisco, has really been so incredible in helping me address each and every one of these concerns. And as I've said, I've made blunders along the way, but I've also made some really, really good progress. And in addition to that, I'm going to be spending some time with the Axis and the Cisco teams because I think it's about time we really began to deconstruct this idea of digital transformation. What is it exactly? And what could it look like in the space 
of small and medium sized enterprises. What could it look like for your business and my business? And so I hope that you're going to stay tuned. And on my social media pages, I'm going to be keeping you updated of all the dates uh, and all the connection times for us when we are having those conversations. For now, thank you for joining me and thank you for coming into my home and sharing my space with me today.